Describe your family history in terms of the town Gehenna. My grandparents on both sides of the family were from Germany and they came over in 1833 and the Meckworts uh, home started on what was Beecham Road which is now Hamilton Road and it would have been back for uh, Shagbark. That land there from uh, Giant Eagle all the way down to Graders on Hamilton Road was part of my grandfather's farm and it went on over around and then continued over on 62 from where the Worthington is down to where the I think now there's um, what was the uh, veterinarian clinic. What was Gehanna like during your childhood? Well, I think there was about 400 people in Gehanna when I was growing up. And uh, the school was much different. Uh, in the winter, I lived down on Mill Street, and a man would come, and he's um, like a sled, and put us on and, with, and take us to school in the bad weather. And we didn't have too many snow days because when the walkers would have to go off to school and then we would um, go down in the basement. If we couldn't go upstairs, we would be down in the furnace room to have our school. And things were much different then than they are today. How do you remember the schoolhouse from your childhood? Well, when I was growing up, uh, we would go up there and the, they had a floor in it and they had square dancing. And it was uh, the people who had lived in, my, gra my uncle had moved next door and the house was rented and they'd have music and have uh, dances on Saturday night. Your mother attended the Gehanna One Room Schoolhouse. What was her experience like? Well, she was only four when she started, and the reason she started, she was wanted to go to school, and my grandfather said, told the teacher, if she creates any problems, you send her home. Well, she didn't create any problems, and she went to school until the eighth grade when they took Boxwell examinations, and she took the, and they didn't like my grandfather too well. And uh, she had taken the test twice, and it got to the point where the teacher couldn't answer the questions, and she was doing the teaching, so she decided to quit. How would your parents have reacted to the restoration of the one-room schoolhouse built initially on their property? It would be, I don't know about my father, but my mother would be elated because she was quite a historian. I have an old, a little book that she had for her drawing, or uh, papers that things were come out in the newspaper, and I have one where they weren't happy about the new high school be being built out in the country. Also in that, in that little book that I have, it's a lot of things that, that happened in, the, in Gehanna that is history now, but at the time it was, it was funny. How do you know Ruth Earl? Who were some of the other students in your class? Yeah, she was she was our teacher in third grade, and there were several. Well, Wanda Sandusky, Schnell was in that class. Uh, Bert Conkle, John Wolf, Mildred Pote, Lois Klotz, um, Mary Catherine Sindel. Uh, there's others, but I think those were the ones that were to the last uh, luncheon, and that was our 70th at Jefferson Country Club. How will current students adapt to the one-room schoolhouse traditional custom? I don't know, because things are so different now. Even when you go back to the multiplication tables, when that's, that's history now. And no cell phones, no... Everything at that time was academic. Why do you think it's important to preserve this schoolhouse for future Gehanna students? Well, 
when the, this generation, I'm the last of my generation and my family, and when that schoolhouse is gone, no one will ever know that there had been a schoolhouse there, that somebody had donated money or their farm to build the schoolhouse, and I'd like to see it re to remain the same as the ones that are being restored in Johnstown and, and on Wexler's property. Final thoughts on the one-room schoolhouse? I think it's great. The only thing that I'd like to have seen it left on my grandfather's property because that had been in the family from the 18, 1830s. And, uh, but I'm just happy that it is going to be um, located in Gahanna.